Tu sais bien. At the moment, we're in rehearsals for our production. I'm desperate for a strong man. We're really focusing at the moment on ensemble work, which is something that we've been doing a lot since first year. So now in third year, we really get a chance to experience it together, like in a professional atmosphere. I've heard you don't I've made successful. We'll be going on stage to the public. So that's really exciting. This year marks the 100th anniversary or centenary of the Russian Revolution. So it was a toss up between two plays, uh, The Master Margarita, another Russian play, and The Suicide by Nikolai Erdman. We had a vote and The Suicide won by a good few votes. The play The Suicide is about Semyon. He is a man who's down his luck in communist Russia. He has no work. His wife is providing for the household, as well as his mother-in-law, who lives with them. And he just feels horrible about it. I'm falling apart, Masha! You're falling apart! You're falling apart! I thought you'd care! I can't go on. What do you mean? And then he decides he's going to kill himself, because he feels that's the only way out of this horrible situation. Let her go. Set her free. One less flea in the flea bit. Count to ten, the torment's over. So people hear about this in like his apartment block, basically, and they start um, giving him causes to die for. I know you want to die a meaningful, heroic death, admired by nation and family. Then write about how you despaired and got. How I, Father Yelkity, came to your aid. And how you laughed and pushed me away. But no sooner were you dead, do you realize your mistake. But then he realises he actually doesn't want to die, he wants to live. The early process of the suicide, again, was no one was cast. And we were just playing, essentially. Um, we weren't doing any, we weren't blocking it, we were just playing. We were messing around with voices, accents, physicality. Bring him back, you're fast, I mean, I'm not, we'll leave him alive! Alex! Oh, come on, Bugs, come on, come Your favourite dog howls at the moon! My mother was just Oh, weep! A guitar string breaks! You know, we were just trying to come up with the world, create the world of which they're in. We had classes with a movement instructor and um, a voice class, so I think the whole thing was workshopped from the start, and even towards the very end, there were moments that were changing all the time, which is so important, I think, that it, nothing is set in stone. The thing that I really enjoyed when we were looking at the suicide was kind of tapping into the sort of communist machine element of it and we started doing like improvisation and little kind of movement sequences and things based around that very short little burst that kind of showed how people were just sort of boxed in and very trapped and I think that that translated really well into the set design. So we had two casts for some parts and not for others. Vulgarian! Vulgarian! Alexander wept for you. Uh, no I didn't! Alexander wept for you. No! It was a long process, but looking back on it, I think it was great for, say, the characters that didn't change because there was always something new and fresh and different. I don't like smut. Yes, you do! All of you need to learn smut! Smutty working girl! I don't like smut. Yes, you do! All of you girls like a bit of smut! <laughs> The best thing about this course, in my opinion, apart from the specialists who work on it, is the fact that it's multifaceted. They do stage management, they do lighting, they do all the kind of technical side of theatre. They learn a lot about administration and management, and so they're very well equipped to go out into the professional world. One of the main purposes of this um, project, which is called Performance Ensemble, is for the whole group, and normally a year group would consist of maybe 20 people, um, to work as a unit. will be the brittle This production is, on the one hand, uh, an effort to put on 
a cracker of a production and on the other hand then to hone and apply all the various technical skills that the students are developing uh, in their numerous courses. I've introduced certain musical elements into the piece and I've also introduced a kind of a I suppose you could call it a human puppetry kind of a dimension to it as well. We kind of knew early on that we wanted to do something different with the story. So Johnny wrote in this kind of folk tale that was like meant to be flashbacks of a time where the main characters of Simeon and Masha's life was happy. The biggest part of the process for me was definitely the work with the folk tale characters because they went through loads of different versions you know there was versions where we were being operated by other people and you know we were speaking but we had to try and relinquish like total control of our bodies which is very hard to do <laughs> dead silent sorry it's black branches whisper only to the darkening sky the final product was a lot more of um the kind of isolation of all the different movements which kind of fed into the weird kind of grungy cabaret thing we had going on. There is some reference to obviously the Russian Stalin but a lot of the Commedia dell'arte and it's a bit of the old rough style theatre, kind of the grotesque um, freak shows and all that. There's loads of reference so it was very fun to play with. I studied art for a year. So I was debating whether to go into theatre and study to be an actress or to study to be an artist. I didn't have to give up art. I've done lots of theatre makeup. I've done some set. I've done costume in this production. And in this career, realistically, you need to have more than one trait under your belt. You kind of got inspired with kind of object clothing, as I'm now kind of sub <laughs> calling it, <laughs> which is literally putting 3D objects into the clothing. Old belts, keys, buckles, and Very kind of, quirky. Yeah, just yeah. to add kind of something more grittier. I think once the actors had their costumes on, we became more immersed in the world. It was when we got into the kind of tech and the dress rehearsals that it really started to come together, you know, and I immediately knew it was going to be really cool when we were starting with me and Claire and Kean under the stage and Johnny was like, oh, actually, I think we're going to have you there when the audience are coming in. I was like, yes, this this is going to be the right kind of creepy, grungy, but still kind of funny um, tone. It was so stylized in what we were doing. The costume added so many layers that you mightn't have had until you got into that rehearsal space. I remember Jenny doing my makeup for the first time and I was like, oh my God, this is what I'm going to look like. And it completely changes the way you might have been playing something. Um, I remember the dress that I had had rags on it, so I ended up using that in different ways and my physicality changed once I got the, the clothes, which was the same for everyone, I think. As soon as we got a sense of the whole production, I think it really helped us as an ensemble. Coming onto the set, I remember going in the first day before it, when, when the set was like half made and Davy, the set designer, was there and we were all like, oh, Oh my God, because Johnny had explained to us his ideas and he showed us pictures, but nothing compared to going in and actually being able to see it. Um, and I think the set was, like people came away saying that. Um, the set blew people away. I think it blew all of us away. That week, the week of tech and the show was so much fun. It was, it was just great. It was a really, really good, very enjoyable week. <laughs> a man of limited imagination. <laughs> One big idea was enough to fill his head right up. Me! <laughs> Dear God in heaven, please let him make a sound. You, <laughs> Marsha! How did you notice your working days were over? Here, take this. I wish Marsha was here. Such a fine party. And you didn't even invite her. Although we are students, I think it was such a professional show um, from everything, from every aspect. And I think that's really important to not look at it as this student, a group of students putting on a show, um, to look at it, which is something Johnny always wanted from the get-go, was for us to act as more of a company, say, than a group of students. 
which is so important going into the big world. Um, having that knowledge and the foundation to know what's expected of you if you want to go on and perform as a professional actor. Singing in the rain. Really enjoyable ensemble piece, very challenging and, and thought provoking. And I suppose what impressed me most about was the sheer enjoyment and passion that this young, these are young actors of tomorrow and indeed of today um, had for their craft. I'm feeling a bit sad, but I'm kind of like, look, we've got another show next year, so it's good. Excellent, yeah, it was great. It's really nice to end on a high. The audience are really nice tonight. Happy it went so well. Just a good send off, to be honest. <laughs> Absolutely wrecked now, but um, great fun. And here's next year's one, whatever it may be. Thank you very much and good night.